and with that a warm welcome to Minecraft Monday uh, let's stream of course and uh, we will be playing the last and final episode of Minecraft Story Mode Season 2 above and beyond in the last uh, stream session um, we uh, were below the bedrock and uh, let's just say there were some freaky fanboys there not not my fanboys but Jesse's fanboys or to be more exact Fred's fanboys but um, have a peek if you haven't watched it yet and uh, check it out because you will probably need to know some of the things that happened in there uh, to watch uh, or to, to really understand what's happening in Above and Beyond and I guess the synopsis uh, is that the final battle with Jesse's new enemy brings the battle home to Beacon Town. Yes, we're returning to Beacon Town and the world may never be the same. And with that, let's start episode 5, Above and Beyond. It'll be a bit sad to see the um, game kindly found, finally come to an end, but I'm sure it'll be, it'll be worth the wait. As always, we are streaming across Twitch, YouTube, Mixer, and Periscope. And let's just see what the uh, recap says. Between a good friend and a bad one. Good friends do what you ask. They enjoy what you make for them. They never betray you. Jesse is a perfect example of what we call a bad friend. Other bad friends include, in no particular order, Fred and Zara. Ultimately, all losers who refuse to appreciate the gifts they've been given. Now me, I won't stand for ingratitude. So I took my gifts away. Oh, but then, then, just when I thought I'd found a promising new friend... <sighs> Such a disappointment. Appointment. That is when I had a brilliant idea. The perfect way to weed out the bad friends from the good. To be appreciated. I became Jesse. I was right, of course. The plan worked immediately. Jesse's good friends flocked to me. Of a better Jesse. <laughs> and now Jesse is trapped underground forever. One more ungrateful loser buried away. The saddest part of all, really, is that Jesse will never get to see how much better I've made Beacon Town. <laughs> oh, yes! <laughs> This game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored by how you play. Welcome to Beacon Town. 2.0, by the looks of it. The admin's been busy. Man, lucky thing that the admin didn't think to fortify these tunnels into town. Oh. Speaking of fighting admins, I can't help but wish we still had Zara around. I know she was... well, she was a little much. But having an ex-admin on our side seems like it could have come in handy. I guess. She still scared me, though. She already helped us a lot. The portal, buying us time to get up here. Yeah. Maybe we'll see her again. Yeah, I see what you mean. Uh, maybe Zara's lucky being where she is right now. She's not currently marching towards a fight with the admin. Maybe it's for the best that Binta and the Fred Towners didn't make it out of the underneath. It would really stick to get above the bedrock just to have the admin, you know. Yeah, 
Jesse, when Romeo finds out what we're trying to do, we've seen what he does. I don't want to end up like Fred. I don't want Beacon Town to be like Zara's town. We've seen so many terrible things that Romeo's done. I just can't even handle thinking about that happening to the others. To our home. Yes, things look impossible. And they might be. But I believe in all of us. Look how far we've come. Look at all the impossible we've already done. We can do this. I know it seems hopeless, but we can't give up now. There are people up there counting on us. And we are not going to let them down. Hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Let's do it. Indeed, yeah. let's get started. Yeah. Let's do the thing. Uh, yeah. Uh. Here we go. Alrighty. I guess with that, the intro session is finally over. Uh, let me just recap again. As always, oh, well, there we go. Here's yet another intro session. With that, another warm welcome. To Beacon Town 2.0, and of course, Minecraft Story Mode Season 2, the finale. And yes, as I was saying, we are watching, uh, or I am streaming this over Twitch, YouTube, Mixer, and Periscope uh, via Restream.io, and all of the chats are hooked into uh, a combined chat interface as well using Restream. So, any of you guys on any of the platforms, if you chat, uh, if you type something into the chat box, leave a comment, etc., I will see it in the main chat. Um, so I guess for me, the benefit is that I can see everything that's going on. Um, what do you guys for that you guys, it tunnels. might be a little bit disjointed Just if I respond to a message yeah. that you can't oh. actually see on your platform. But I will try and say who the, uh, or which platform the message came from. I'll shut up now. Yeah, that sounds good. Okay, looks like we need to sneak past the um, guards there. Beacon Town has definitely changed. Oh, hold on. Guys, admin! Admin indeed. Yes, the admin has taken our... Axel and Olivia. We gotta hide. The admin has taken our uh, exactly where we to go. Then I guess persona. He's uh, taken on our identity. Why exactly are we having a whole festival devoted solely to you? Do we really have to go up on stage with you in front of everyone? Enough! You two are going to need to do a lot less talking and a lot more agreeing if you want to be a part of Beacon Town. Not so sure I do, actually. In fact... We were just about to head home. I'd be very there we go. careful if I were you guys. The admin is destroying our reputation. At all. It's just so easy for something bad to happen to a town. Like Champion City, for example. And... Oop. Ooh, sugar. Someone set off some TNT. I? No. I had hoped there was still a chance of redeeming Romeo. No, I'm not so sure. No, it was never a chance. He blew it up just to make a point. Yeah, he's a monster through and through, and he needs to be put down. Yeah, I... I guess you're right. Now, so let's get to it. Let's put him down. Along and get that fireworks show ready for the big keynote. Hey? Surely they must see the yes, eyes uh, look a bit creepy. Jesse. And Stella is our secret spy on the I inside. The admin's distracted. Yeah. We should go grab Axel and Olivia while we have the chance. What? 
You were always so worried about Champion City, and now... One less thing to worry about. My... my friends and... my people? They're... gone. But I think we will need to try and sneak past again. Well now, who do we have here? Oh, oh. Crud. Indeed. Okay, that did not go to plan. There we go, we have a death scene in Minecraft story mode. I think the admin's distracted. Yeah. We should go grab Axel and Olivia while we have the chance. What? You were always so worried about Champion City, and now... Psst. Olivia! Axel! Oh, oh. There we go, now it worked. Oh I knew it! I just knew it! Whoa, am I seeing double? Shh. Jesse, I... What is... Come on, I'll explain everything. But we have to get off the streets. To the map yes. shop, quick. To the map shop. <laughs> wonder if we get to go to uh, Champion City. And see some of the destruction firsthand. There we go, we're I don't in know what to say. Admins? A world beneath the bedroom? In the map shop. Yeah. I still think you made that part up. Mm -hmm. I mean I'm relieved that the Jesse out there isn't the real you, but but nobody else knows that. What if everyone in Beacon Town turns on you? I mean That's the admin's what plan. just happened outside? Axel and I almost did. And we're your oldest friends. I mean, if we yeah. couldn't tell, I... I'll just have to make them understand what happened. Make them? I suppose if anyone could make them listen, it'd be you. But you said there's a way to stop this guy, right? So we hope. Petra. Petra doesn't seem so sure. Well, what's so on her mind? Even when she's on our side, but nobody deserves that ever. That is very see. true. Gone in an instant. It's insane. Add it to the list of horrible things the admin's gonna pay for. I'm so glad you guys are okay. I do wonder if there's gonna be some kind of twist at the end. <laughs> Did Jesse tell you about the potato yet? The what? The what? Even underneath, we got our hands on something. Ah. Like a word of passage. Hashtag, Hashtag potato451. I know it sounds weird, but it's supposed to take away the admin's powers for good. Ugh, that'll be payback for what he's done to our poor shop. Ho, ho. <sighs> oh, I like Narm. Hopefully it's not a complete wash. Is it even safe to hide out in here? <laughs> yeah, it used to be the safest place around. That was before the admin's goons were everywhere. It's been ransacked once. Whoever did that might come back again. Yeah, we need something better. Comforting. Getting into that tower won't be easy. Hopefully, there's still something useful in here. Everyone, take a look around. Shout if you find anything. While you guys do that, I'm going to keep watch. Right, so what do we have? We've got heads. Yep, explore the map shop. We've got a lever. We can talk to Jack. We can talk to Nurm. Let's uh, have a look around first. We can talk to Radar. I would quite like to talk to Axel and Olivia as well. We can look at bookcases. Petra, what's up here? Nothing. Okay, let's... Head on over to uh, Saliva, Axel and Olivia. So I want to talk to Axel and Olivia first. Is there anything over here? Just before I... No, no, okay. Serve Axel and Olivia. Hey, you two. What's up, Jesse? Hmm, I didn't reel anything. Where's Lucas? Why are you guys here? I need to get back. Where is you Lucas? You haven't seen Lucas around, have you? 
We got separated when the admin zapped us to his prison. No, he... he's just been... missing. Kinda went underground. I'm... I'm sure he's okay, though. Hmm. Did the admin reveal when anything? the admin was me, did he tell you anything? About a terminal, maybe? No, the guy's a jerk. Never answered a single question. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Spend a lot of time in that floating tower, though. Would she never let us go to? Floating tower? Oh, maybe, maybe that big pillar in the middle. Why what are you guys here? You both back to Beacon Town. Yeah, we uh, we heard something weird was going on. I had no idea how weird until we saw the lava, though. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. If you think back here. to Romeoburg, that out. equally was a lava-packed town, city, I don't know what to call it, deserted. Oh, there we go. What's this? Hey, Jack! Wings? Jetpack? I'd almost forgotten about that stash. Are these elytra wings? Those are super rare. Yeah. Oh. Jack's a super adventurer. Made a trip to the end. Nothing better for gliding. What was that? Okay, I definitely shouldn't have pulled the lever yet. Maybe it's Ivor. Uh, I was hoping I could do some more exploring. Oh, come on. It's going to be nothing. It'll be the llama. It is the llama. You How that? <laughs> I never doubted it. I guess I deserved that. How, how did? But how did you get yes, out of that Yes, how prison? did you get out of that prison? Because I broke them out. <laughs> and Ivor. Fantastic. Ivor, what on earth were you just doing? Hanging out up there. Jesse, I'm a ninja. Where else would I be? That is a nice outfit. I yes, in wore. case you have missed the last episode, Ivor now I is know. a ninja. Oh, oh my, oh my gosh! Do you know who that is? That is Ivor, founding freaking member of the Order of the Freaking Stone. That is yeah. a legend standing in front of us, Nerm. With Jack, just be yourself. Trust me, Jack. Best thing around Ivor, just be yourself. Uh, yeah, that uh, that makes a whole lot of sense. Thanks, Jesse. Well, here goes. Ivor of the Order of the Stone? Whew. This is quite the pleasure. Huh. Well, yes, of course it is. And you are? Oh, me? Oh, I'm uh, the uh, the uh, stock, the uh, stab, well, from the. I'm uh, <laughs> nobody. Uh, how are you? <laughs> He's Jack. Oh, well, hello. Always nice to meet a fan. Uh, yeah, yeah. Anyway, I am happy to report that your plan for the admin worked perfectly. You fell for my deception hook, line, and sinker. Story about you rotting away in prison forever? Big success. And after the admin's appetite for Jesse's destruction was satisfied, I returned to the prison by cover of night to free your friend from that cursed place. I was surprised, but this animal is quite the escape artist. Indeed. I may consider naming her my apprentice, though she will need a mask. I'm so sorry that you had to be left behind. It must have been terrible. Now that the team is back together, Ivor, we need to stop the admin. Indeed. We're supposed to use our word of passage at the primary terminal. Jesse thinks it's up in the tower. Yes. I believe that's exactly There's so many questions. I've heard him reference such a thing several times. No one thinks to check for eavesdropping ninjas. I have learned a lot of information that way. Let me guess. There's guards, right? Yes, yes. Though I requested a post there, the admin appointed special golems to patrol mm. the place. Just, uh... You sure we can't, like... Reason with this nope. admin guy? No, no, no. No, 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 no. Nope. You? Wanting to talk it out? Jesse taught me to keep the explosions in Boomtown. That's not. Uh, you can't reason with this guy, Axel. Trust me. Yep, tried that. It's true. He's crazy. Been there. Didn't work. As soon as this guy sees us, he'll just blink us out of existence. I'm formulating a plan. 
We just need a distraction. Maybe a distraction like Jesse's big speech at the start of JessieCon? That sounds great, but Elytra wings don't exactly go up. <laughs> they do with fireworks. Okay. So there will be fireworks. Yeah, think you could get me a map of Beacon Town? Hmm. That's easy for somebody like Nam. Here's the plan. Like Jack said, we need fireworks. Which the admin has stockpiled backstage at the event! Wait, isn't Stella in charge of fireworks for this thing? Perfect. We'll never get backstage without fireworks skilled uniforms. So we find Stella and she shows us where they are. I'll grab them. We suit up and boom, backstage passes. Once we're there, we swipe no, the fireworks. That's not that easy, is it? Wait, can I go backstage with you guys? You're going to be getting me a bucket of water. We'll get to that. While we're getting the fireworks, this is bizarre. The admin. Are you sure I can't just blow up the stage? Uh, that would be distracting. Axel. Then we wait until the big fireworks finale. The what? It's Romeo. I promise you there will be a huge fireworks well, finale. Of course there will be. Petra and Jack will wait in the order hall. The second those fireworks go off, I go airborne. Once I land, I use the bucket of water to create a waterfall. Aha! My bucket, your secret weapon. Then, the three of us will head into the tower and use hashtag potato 451 to strip the admin of his powers before he even knows we're there. 